Hi, I'm Shahla Flynn from SMA Australia. Today I'm going to tell you about an air fault in a PV array and how this fault affects the SMA inverters. I'm also going to show you how to check for the air fault. If an air fault happens in a PV array, the SMA inverters will detect a fault and will show an error message on the inverter display. In new generation inverters, you'll see event number 35 followed by the message Insulation Resistance Check Generator or RISO. In classic inverters, the error message air fault or ground fault will appear on the display. You also notice that the red LED is turned on. Please note that the following procedure must be performed only by authorized electricians. To check for the air fault, shut down the inverter, turn the AC and DC isolators off and remove the ESS handle. Take the lead off and then disconnect the DC connectors. Now turn the DC isolator back on and measure the voltage from the positive pole of the string to earth. And note the voltage. Then measure the voltage from the negative pole of the string to earth. And note the voltage again. Ideally, the voltage from positive to earth and negative to earth must be zero or rapidly decreasing to zero. A stable voltage indicates an air fault on the PV array. If there are more than one string in the PV system, repeat this test for each individual string. Please note that the air fault can be sporadic. It can be triggered or aggravated by movable cables or moisture like in rainy days or early in the mornings when there is still moisture on solar panels and the cables. The air fault on the affected string must be resolved before reconnecting it to the inverter. So please make sure that you carefully inspect the complete DC side, which includes the solar panels, connections and plugs, and the cables. I'm Shahla Flynn from SMA Australia, and thanks for watching.